Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. And you can now get my book and order t-shirts for Yoga for Healthy Aging on my website. So take a look at the link on your screen. You can also find great information about upcoming workshops and retreats and even international yoga adventure travel trips that are coming up, like the one that Melina Mays and I are going to be leading to Morocco in the fall of 2020. You can also find longer practices, video practices, on the Practice Channel tab at the website yogauonline.com. For 99 cents, you can try the channel for a full month, and I have something like 27 different practices that are presently available on that site, so check that out. So today I'm excited to share with you another version of Vishnu's couch. We've looked at this in a couple of different settings, one to stretch the neck, another one to experience a reclining version of tree pose. And today we're actually gonna do kind of the fuller variation of the pose, but we're gonna use a strap today to make it a little bit easier for those that might have some tightness in the hips and groin. So you're gonna use the strap for today's version. I'll eventually show you another variation where you don't use the strap if your uh, body can find that accessible. Okay, so what I'm gonna have is a blanket to support my hips. I wanna be mindful of the lower back and the hips not rocking forward and back as I'm working. So some of you might wanna tuck a block or a bolster right up behind your lower back. So keep that in mind, that could be helpful. And I'm gonna have you come down to lie on your side and we're gonna go ahead and lift the head and put the hand underneath the skull and jaw, the elbow pointing straight out, and then looking down the front of your body, get your body lined up nice and evenly in one long line. Press your bottom foot down to the floor and then take your loop in a strap, and we're gonna bend the right knee in towards the chest and place the strap around the foot. So you can have your hand up or down a little bit. When, when you do your experimental first trial taking it up, you wanna see if you can actually straighten the arm and the leg. So you wanna be able to have some tension on that. And my leg is not going straight up, it's pointing a little forward. And then exhale, bend the knee and bring the arm to the inside of the leg. And without wobbling on your inhale, take that right leg up towards the sky and then exhale and bend it back in. So we'll do that a couple times. Inhale, taking it up to full straight and then exhale, bringing it down. Inhale, take it up till it's fully straight and then exhale, bring it down. Maintain some tension on the strap, even when you bend the knee. So you're pushing the foot out and pulling the strap in. It helps to keep things steadier. And watch out for that top hip rolling toward the wall behind you. Now let's come up for a moment. Press actively up, press down into the pinky edge of the bottom foot. Make sure the neck's getting a nice little stretch. And think about your top hip moving forward and up a little bit, so the leg may tip a little forward of vertical. And then you can stay for as long as you'd like, but we're gonna come down now so I can show you the second side. So release your loop from your foot, and then go ahead. If you're at home, you just roll over onto your other side, but I'm gonna give you that frontal view, so I'm gonna swing around, stretch the body out, make sure my elbow's pointing straight back, give my head a nice little support, get that bottom foot active, so when I bend the top knee in, I don't roll forward or back. Then put your loop around the foot, you decide where to hold on, get some tension. As you inhale, take the leg up, as you exhale, bend the leg back in. So I'm keeping my arm to the inside of the leg. Inhale, leg is going up and forward a little bit. Exhale, come down. So even if you're tighter, the leg can be maybe not quite so vertical. It could be towards the, uh, the wall that your bottom foot is pointing towards. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, down. So I usually do about six repetitions or so, give or take one or two. And then we're gonna go ahead and come up and keep it up in the air for a moment. I'm pushing up, I'm pulling down. I'm thinking about that top hip moving slightly forward and up to get a little more lift. And the bottom foot's pressing actively into the floor to help keep the body from rocking dramatically forward and back. And finally, to come down, we're going to bend the knee, remove the strap, release the head from the hand, and bring yourself up to sitting. Now, you can also just lie on the floor for a few moments and kind of get used to that, that position of releasing completely. So either sitting or reclining for a moment, just to let go of the interesting actions that occur in that pose that creates both strengthening and stretching throughout the, the legs, hips, the side body, and even because the arm is working, you're getting some good arm work as well. So there you have it, dynamic to static Vishnu's couch with a strap. Look forward to sharing another version with you without the strap sometime soon. Uh, play around with that this week in your home practice, see what you think. Don't forget to continue to follow me on Facebook and YouTube at Baxter Bell Yoga and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.